Hello interwebs, Moses here from GuitarChimp.com. I have a lot of customers ask me if it's difficult to rewire something that doesn't have a control cavity. And the answer to that is yes, absolutely. If you want to raise your blood pressure, it's the perfect job for it. Now I've got a tip that generally will make this a whole lot easier. So why don't you come check it out? Today we've got this Gibson West Montgomery L5. Someone installed a mini humbucker in it and so we're going to restore it back to its factory condition, which is with a 57 Classic in the neck. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to get all of these controls out through that pickup cavity without just pulling them through and then struggling for hours to get them back into the proper place. We're going to use a couple little tools. The first one is some surgical tubing. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can get it at any uh, medical supply place. If uh, you happen to be a doctor, you may actually have some. The other thing we're going to be using is a quarter inch cable that has been cut really thin right through here to be able to fit through the hole in the body. Uh, what we're going to do is take this quarter inch cable, plug it right into the output jack. We've got a knot tied in the other end. We're going to take the surgical tubing and on the split shaft of this potentiometer, we're just going to put it over one side of it. And I'm going to leave the other one without anything on it, mainly just so I can show you how frustrating it can be if you don't have something on there. Uh, and let's dive right in. We're going to take a little crescent wrench. We're going to loosen these nuts just so that they're able to screw off with your fingers. And you'll see it, everything drops right in. We can just let go of that and it drops right in. This knot will keep everything from getting out of reach. It will also hold the nut and the washer in place. Same thing down here. You just push that in. The nut and the washer will stay right on the cable and this knot will keep everything from getting lost on the inside of the guitar. Now we just grab the pickup and we're going to pull everything out. We're going to pull on the wiring and slowly you'll see these kind of drop right in. The output jack will come over. Here's the volume pot, the tone pot, and the output jack. And there we are. Now we pull this out. We can disconnect this output jack if we want to and then we're free to move everything around as we see fit. You want to keep as much of this connected as you can, that way you can just pull it straight through. You don't want anything to come loose and get lost in the body. Now we're going to swap this pickup out. Solder bones connected to the pot bone. The pot bones connected to the output jack. The output jack's connected to my guitar, and that's what makes the world rock. Okay, now that we've connected the pickup bone to the volume pot bone. Uh, what we need to do is put all the bones back inside the body. What we do here is we're just going to slowly drop all of this stuff right back in where it was. Be sure to be careful of the finish right around the pickup hole. Make sure to not tangle any of the cables that you have connected to your stuff. Very gently pull your output jack through. Very gently pull on the connection for the pot. Now you can see the output jack, it's already in place. All we gotta do is pull on this a little bit further. There's the threads. Drop the nut and washer all the way down. 
Screw them right on. Tighten it up. And that one's good to go. Now, we'll pull on this pot. Now, these are usually a little bit more sensitive, so you gotta be careful. I like to generally reach a finger inside the F hole if that's available and kind of push up on the bottom of it with my pinky. Take that surgical tube off. Start to tighten that down. Now, I left this other one disconnected so you could kind of see what it's like in the case that you don't have something like that. Now, luckily, this one was connected to the other one, so it's at least close to the sound hole. So you can see what it's like, even if it's just close. But I've got three or four inches to be able to even reach that pot. My fingers can't really reach it. I can barely touch it. So a lot of times you'll have to take a tool, like a little dental tool, um, or some people actually like to use hex wrenches for this. And you'll grab it, very gently pull it over, because the real concern here is that you don't want to knock any wires loose. And once you get it in your hand, you bring it over towards the hole. You bring it over towards the hole. You bring it over towards the hole. And there you go. Then all we got to do is put the nut and washer on here, tighten it up. we are good to go. Now we can just put the pickup in and everything's taken care of. So that little trick makes everything a lot easier. I learned that from Joe Valley, the guitar tech for the Doobie Brothers. Fantastic guy and he builds some beautiful guitars. This helps out so much it cuts down on time considerably. Something that might normally take several hours trying to pop things back in now takes only 15 minutes and I you know, I enjoy that time to be able to spend alone with myself. Head over to GuitarChimp.com, check out all the fun stuff we have. Cheers, we'll see you around. <laughs> oh.